Hi, I'm Allie from Loom, and I'm here to share with you our top 10 use cases for using Loom. So the first is daily messaging, your daily instant messages, your daily emails, anything that's taking you a little while to write, those long messages, it's easier if you just record a Loom, and it's more fun and more personal. Um, it helps you provide context, and you'll find that these messages are often more engaging if you include a Loom. So a few examples of this would be hellos, check-ins, um, sending a celebration or congratulations. It's a really nice opportunity to inject a personal touch. Um, and then things like asking or answering questions. It's also great for internal documentation. So if you have evergreen content that shows things like onboarding materials or walkthroughs of different processes in your company, Loom is perfect for this and you have kind of a centralized place to store all of these in the team library, as you can see in the screenshot here. So then people can go into those folders in your team library, find what they need. Um, it's very self-serve and easier to understand because it's putting everything into context with good visuals um, and you know a walkthrough from you. It's also great for meeting reduction. So at Loom, our team includes people who are in all different time zones. It's very hard to find times often that will fit for everybody to meet synchronously. And so Loom is great for making sure that everybody gets the information they need um, by replacing some of these meetings and making them asynchronous instead. Um, we also find that calendars just fill up very quickly. And so this helps kind of free up some time um, for people to uh, not have to be in meetings back to back every day. It's also great for providing context before and after meetings. So if you have a pre-watch loom before you have a meeting, it's great because it gives kind of the background information. And then once you go into that live time meeting synchronously, those meetings are more meaningful because people have that context already. We also love using Loom for announcements. So again, we're working in different time zones. It's really challenging to find time where everybody can talk live. And so doing an announcement over Loom makes sure that everybody can watch it on their own time and get the information they need um, without having to have yet another meeting to discuss. It's also great for explaining things that are complex. So Loom is really useful because it puts things into context. And so say that I have like a document that I want to share with somebody. It would be one thing if I wrote out a bunch of notes explaining it. But if I send a Loom instead, then I'm able to show the document um, while I'm talking through it and explaining it. And so you're really covering a lot of ground there and um, making sure that you're more clear and explaining these nuanced ideas in a way that's clear. It's also great for giving and receiving, feed, receiving feedback. So um, with giving and receiving feedback, one challenge that comes up when you're doing it in a written form is that it's hard to um, convey your tone, convey nuance, um, and make things feel more personal. And so asynchronous video makes that really easy because you're able to talk through things as though you were talking to the person live. And so with that, you can be more tactful and um, you know really get the message across the way that you intend it. Um, it cuts out some of that opportunity for misinterpretation that comes with providing written feedback instead. We also love to use it for customer comms and outreach. So again, it's a really nice way to inject um, a bit of a personal tone to um, the outreach that you're performing. And so it's a really good way to build rapport with people who are outside of your office, like customers, prospects, vendors, or job candidates. Um, it makes your outreach more engaging and more personalized, and it really helps you put a face to the name when you're trying to get in touch with people who are outside your office. It's also great for project management. So any milestones that come along the way while you're working on a project, so things like kickoffs, updates, reviews, it's really useful to have a loom to kind of mark those milestones. And it makes sure that your team is able to revisit these milestones and understand um, you know, the different points that you've hit along the way and make sure that nothing gets overlooked. And it's really useful also for building transparency and making sure that your entire team is informed. We also love to use Loom for external marketing content. So um, it's a really good way to provide easy but high quality videos that can explain your product um, or give people the information they need while you're marketing yourself or your company. Um, and so you can embed Looms in your website and um, that'll really improve engagement and um, make your content more engaging and interesting to people. We love using it for sales materials, product launches, and um, we use it on our social media as well. Then the last use case is cultural and social. 
Um, so we find in our hybrid environment that building and maintaining culture is a challenge because, again, we are on different teams, different time zones, and you really want to feel unified. So Loom is great for making new opportunities outside of meetings to be social and connect with your team. Um, there are a lot of fun ways to use Loom, and it's a really good way to feel more personal and help your team um, celebrate different wins along the way. And it's a good way to stay connected and, um, you know, share jokes, say hello, um, send people congratulations and welcome looms. There are endless ways to build your culture using loom. So I hope this was helpful and happy recording.